Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another answer and mentions New Game Minus Minus video. I was at 42, Life, the Universe, and everything. And, um, yeah, I can get E59 Eternity Points. I'm going to start going for some of the Eternity Challenges. I, I really think they're going to be pretty easy at this point. So, after this Eternity, I, um, yeah, I should just respect Time Studies because I think the first one I'm going to be going for, going for is Eternity Challenge 4. And this this one's going to be interesting. I, I think I should go Time Dimensions, and then I have to do this path. I will... Uh, I will barely be able to use Time Study 181, just barely. I get probably a couple more time theorems, and that's it. Like that, it really it's pretty down to the wire here. But I can do it. Unfortunately, I need to crunch every five seconds because you know um, I have to do the infinity grinding. That is so stupid and obnoxious. But for new game minus minus, this really isn't all that bad. But it's still stupid and obnoxious. That um, yeah, I need to actually click the checkbox. And yes, I'm getting I'm getting so much here. It's again almost. 2.5 million every five seconds, but it's still stupid and obnoxious, and I don't like it. Okay, I have grinded all the infinities, and it's actually annoying because I'm not going to be able to get these this E60 eternity points, but whatever, I'm still going to come, um, yeah, I'm going to go to the challenge, and it should be very easy, like, with, with the required um, galaxy points. So, let, let's see. I actually do need to crunch, or actually, I don't even need to crunch. I can just, I can just galactic sacrifice for all the galaxy points, um, because remember, I do. There is a limited amount of crunches here. Is this gonna? Am I not gonna be able to beat this challenge? Even with study one eighty one and, um, like and all, max replicated galaxies, I'm not even close. This is surprising. I mean, I I thought that it wouldn't be like. I mean. I thought it would be possible, maybe not super easy, but it would be possible, yet this is still, like, even with this multiplier, the normal dimensions, again, are based on galaxy points, even that's very weak, and, like, yeah, I have a T E10,000 galaxy points, yet I still can't beat the challenge. What is this? I, I'm very surprised I'm not able to beat this. I really thought I was going to get like E7000 infinity points and it would be easy. But no, it's this is this is ridiculous. I, I I better do a different challenge because yeah, this is just no. So, yeah, um I don't know when eternity challenge 4 is going to become actually possible, but uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, maybe I'll just do a different challenge like but this attorney challenge one where I think t like it's like time dimensions are disabled or something like that Yeah, time dimensions are disabled, which means I just use the infinity dimension path um, and otherwise just everything is normal and um, Get that get the I actually completed it two times. I thought I completed it once But whatever I'll just get these galaxy points and this should be a breeze yeah, it's E21, 2200 um, infinity points. It's actually, it's not a breeze, but it's possible, I think. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's actually going to be pretty easy, but the next completion will not be possible. So at least there's a, a completion here. And I'm actually, I think what I can do here, I can just use, uh, this is what the exact same build I used last time. I, I thought I was going to be able to, um, use that build for attorney challenge too because now I'm going to use the time dimension path instead of the infinity infinity dimension path and this will give me um, yeah infinity dimensions are disabled this should be um, easy I think I need like e1600 infinity points and with all these galaxy points and all the galaxy upgrades this should be easy or at least possible it's e1625 so it's definitely possible I don't, I don't think, I wouldn't consider it easy, I mean, it is easy, but next completion, whatever it is, it's, it's impossible. E1875. So, at least, at least I can do it the, the first two times, and I'm going, I'm going to use the exact same build for, 
um, the Eternity Challenge 3, which is, um, I think it's like where Dimensions 5 to 8 don't produce anything. So, here we go. Um, let's see how, let's see how difficult this is. Uh, this looks actually pretty easy. Like, like it, it's not even gonna be trouble. Like, may, like, it may be easy enough to get multiple completions. I get, um, the goal here is to let E1125, but I can get up to about E1200 something. So, maybe, I don't think, the next goal is 1225, so, I actually think that's possible. It's, it'll be tricky, but I think it's possible. So that that's what I'm going to do. I'm I may I may be making the wrong call here, but that that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try this again. Okay, I think I've made the right call because like I'm ten orders of magnitude away, but because of um like the active path and all that, like how it works weird, I can, I can crunch and get a few more orders of magnitude of infinity points. It's and it's enough to get three completions of Eternity Challenge 3. Now comes Eternity Challenge 5, where I cannot get Time Study 181, unfortunately. However, Time Study 181 is actually not as useful in this than in, in the vanilla game. So it's, yeah, where the galaxy cost scaling starts instantly, so I feel like I should go something like Infinity Dimension Path and probably just active and yeah, it's not, I can't get 181, but it's not as bad as it is like to not have 181 as in the vanilla game because the thing is like like in like a single crunch you can get a, a lot you can get like not all of the infinity points but like a lot of the infinity points if you know what I mean by that. The goal is E1200 infinity points. This looks possible considering how many infinity points I'm getting. Yeah, this is definitely. Good possible it's even gonna be easy and i can probably I'm, I'm just i'm just gonna push a little farther just to see if i can get another completion of this challenge and it looks like i can get about probably e13 almost 1400 so that'll be useful let's see what the next thing is it's 1500 i'm not sure if that's gonna be possible so i'm, I'm gonna skip it for now and i will go into eternity challenge six with eternity challenge six I sort of forgot which path. I think, I think it's something to do with like the replicated galaxies. So I'm just gonna. If you can't gain galaxies normally, the cost of upgrading your max replica replicated galaxies is massively reduced. It probably it's probably gonna be pretty easy. The, the goal is E850, and actually this isn't as easy as I might think. Um, even though I have active path, it's still extremely slow. To get replicated galaxies, which is surprising. Like, even with a 34% chance, maybe I just need more of the interval upgrade. That's probably what I need. Um, like maybe another replicated galaxy. And yeah, it's it's because I don't have enough interval upgrades. I'm pretty close. I, but it really actually it doesn't look all that promising to get e850 infinity points. I mean, like it's, be, it's probably because I can't get enough galaxy up or galaxy points to get reduced the galaxy soft cap of galaxy points gain formula. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty disappointing. I mean, may, I could try, and, and this is definitely, like, I remember, like, I remember a few episodes back where I tried this challenge, and it was, it was sort of interesting. Like, I could definitely push a lot of infinity points, but it's just, it was, it was just not enough infinity points. Like, I can get E700 here. And now I'm getting a replicated galaxy every second, even maybe even a little faster than that. So perhaps it is possible. Like I, I can get up all the way up to 34 replicated galaxies. So like, again, that's sort of it. It tricks me into thinking it's possible, but this time it, it's it's going to be very close. If it is possible, I'm going to just barely get it. So this is E785. Now I'm getting um, a replicated galaxy every like half second, and this. Yeah, this is going to be close. I can get E824. Um, infinity points. This is... Yeah, this is, this is going to go down to the wire. E844 infinity points. This is going to be possible. Because 
Um, like with the infinity point doublers alone, that will that will give me e eight hundred and fifty infinity points. So here it is, e eight hundred fifty. Boom! Challenge complete. I don't even know what its reward is. It's further reduce the dimension cost multiplier increase, which may be useful with the attorney challenge three reward. And I could try to go into attorney challenge seven, but I pretty recently did that and I had to grind for like many many days. So I'm just going to try Eternity Challenge 8 and see if this one is going to be nicer to me than Eternity Challenge 7. So, uh, yeah, here it is. It is, you can only upgrade Infinity Dimensions 50 times and Replicanti upgrades 40 times. This, I think this is going to be super easy, considering so much of it is based on, like, these galaxy points and all that. So, um, like, even with, like, this, I can get, I can get E1500. I don't even have a single like replicated um, galaxies, and I, I think I think yeah with the infinity dimensions, I think I just do um, like yeah I, I just get all the first infinity infinity dimensions with the replicanti. That's a little bit trickier. Like I, I know I get up to nine percent chance, and then honestly I don't I don't think this is gonna be possible. Unfortunately, like even with all this, it's just not gonna be. For whatever reason, there's a visual bug where it says I can still get 181, but I, I can't. So, yeah, this is an impossible challenge. I will, I will try Eternity Challenge Seven. Eternity Challenge Nine, I cannot try because it's 415 time theorems. So, uh, yeah, um, yeah, just try Eternity Challenge Seven, and then let's see where I'm going to go. I, I think I'm just gonna want again just the. Um, idle path and time dimensions um no it, i want normal dimension path i i'm an idiot I, I i forgot how eternity challenge 7 worked and i clicked the wrong button i didn't even click um respect time studies until next eternity no, i i remember it's normal dimension path for the eternity challenge 7 or yeah 7 so here here it is let's see if this is possible because Last time it was just it was just extremely rough, but it looks like this time it actually may not be bad, or actually it's not going to be been very good. This is yeah, this is going to be slow. Actually, it's probably impossible. I'm still the goal is e nineteen eighty infinity points, but I can only get like e thirteen hundred something. So yeah, this is an impossible challenge. At the very least, I have completed many challenges. And next episode, you're going to see how many eternity points I can get from all those rewards. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.